Hmm. Can you hear this? Oh, no matter. Try to keep the volume high in any case. <sighs> I think we've just about got this area secured. Your performance back there was very impressive, Hugo. Thank you, but I know I'm not there yet. I want to get much stronger. You've done quite well, especially for your age. You're a credit to the Federation's elite education system. Thanks, but I'm not like you, Alexandra. You have quite the reputation. At the military academy, you were top of your class, it's said. Is it really? Don't be so modest. With your past, you must have some great stories to tell. I don't know about that. Although, there was this one time, just after graduation, as I recall. Oh? Now we're talking. A tale of love or friendship? Nothing so romantic as all that. Rather... I'd say... It's a story about the brash sentiment of youth, I guess. Commander, when will I know which unit I'm assigned to? Sorry, apparently you're so good everyone's fighting over you. It's about to come to physical blows. Surely you're exaggerating. This decision might just go all the way to the top brass. The top brass? Meaning the Emperor himself. You can't be serious. Well, no, but it's almost that bad. I understand. Thank you for clearing that up. Ah, well, another day of patrolling the capital, I suppose. So, I just got my assignment? They stuck me in supplies. I'm glad I won't be fighting on the front lines, but still... When I was in the military academy, I hated this place. Doing drills here day in, day out, I felt like I was in hell. Then I got sent to the front lines. Now, every time I get to come back here is a blessing. Little Miss Golden Child, are you enjoying your daily walk? Having fun showing off to everyone? Ah, it's the Mueller brothers from school. 
Olba and Willy. I haven't seen much of you two lately. Not since our graduation. You seem well. It's so good to see you. Huh? You think we seem well? We've been at the front lines, crawling in the muck and the mire. Is that right? Oh, you're so lucky. Is that supposed to be funny? You think just because you're a noble... Well, can't talk now. Gotta get back to patrolling. What? You two set such a fine example, though. Thank you for that. See you. Hey, hold on! Damn. She has no clue what it's like. She'll see. We'll show that spoiled child the terror of real battle. When the weather is nice, the capital almost seems to shine. What better time to begin my patrol? First, to the weapon shop. Emperor Sigismund is a great man. When the first emperor passed away, none of us knew if the empire would last. But look at how much we've grown since then. We annexed the Miaswi Eisterns. Thus the imperial territory continues to grow significantly. If Sylvaeer and Arconis were to go the way of the Eisterns, this war could soon be over. I hear this weapon shop is raking in the gold. Guess war really is good for business. You patrolling again today? Yes, any signs of trouble? Things are pretty good here. Though there is one thing that's on my mind. Was there an incident? Oh, nothing like that. Not even worth reporting, really. What is it? Oh, the homeless kids haven't been giving us as much trouble lately. Sounds like a good thing. Yeah, but what's bugging me is I can't figure out why. The state hasn't cracked down on them, and neither have I. I see. Anyway, sorry to bother you with something so vague. No bother at all. I'll keep it in mind. Next up, I'll check out the inn. The inn was this way. Are you new to the capital? I can give you directions. Go straight, then go right at the turn for the inn. Really? Thank you! The city's so much bigger than anything I'm used to. Alexandra, 
Haven't seen you since the graduation party. Yes, time sure flies. You were hilarious that night. Those wild stories you told everyone? Hmm? What stories? You didn't forget, did you? Man, they were a riot. I'm sorry. All I remember is how delicious the soup was. <laughs> really? So your love of food affects you to that extent? I think we used to be called the Jildla Wilderness. Now that we've absorbed Sheor and Miasuri, Jildlan's become a proper empire. And our capital attracts visitors from across the land. Hello, Alexandra. Thank you for always working so hard. I'm simply walking around the capital like always. Oh, you always did love this city. Any incidents of late you'd like to report? Actually, when you mentioned walking, I was reminded of something I heard from a customer. They said they were walking around outside the city, and they heard a boom coming from the direction of some mansion. Really? An explosion would be a serious matter. You're right, but nothing ever seemed to come of it. And besides, the guy said it might have been his imagination. Well, I'll keep it in mind. Now, I should check on the tavern. It's always a hot spot for some serious grub. I mean, trouble. You know the mansion on the outskirts of the city? You can sometimes spot Dr. Alfred there. He's the one who invented reactor technology. Hmm. The imagination it must take to conceive of such a thing. Hey, lady, I got a challenge for you. What kind of challenge? Whoever reaches the tavern first wins! But my legs are so much longer, I don't see how you can win. Uh, oh... Then why don't we see who can eat the most food instead? That's a contest you definitely won't be able to win. Jeez! I'll challenge someone else then. There she is! What'll it be, ten orders of steak again? Eating on the job? What do you take me for? Ah, work! Patrolling, are you? Yes. Any troubles to report? Well, let's see. There's the fact that my son still isn't married. I can't do anything about that. Well, you could always marry him yourself. But then you'd eat us out of business. Never mind. Forget all about it. Okay, but you were the one who brought it up. <laughs> True. Well, anyway, you're a noblewoman. I'm sure you've already got a fiancé arranged for you. As a matter of fact, I don't. My parents allow me the freedom to live as I wish. Really? That's good of them. I agree. I have a great deal of respect for my parents. That's why I want to be someone they can feel proud of. I think you should feel proud of yourself. Oh, it's Olba and Willy. Hello there, Alexandra. Stopping in for lunch? I can't right now. I'm still working. Oh no, that's a shame. Watching you wolf down my food is a highlight of my day. Speaking of... I'm planning on adding a new menu item. I'd love to get your thoughts on it later. I'll be sure to get back to you. Hey there, Alexandra. Hello. Are you on patrol as well? No, no. Actually, we were looking for you. 
For me? What for? Well, you see... Ah, my chance to prove myself in battle has come at last! You'll be working closely with us in this mission. Nice, huh? Indeed. I look forward to it. It's funny, though. My commander told me... I shouldn't expect an assignment right away. So this seems awfully sudden. Oh, uh, he probably just spoke too soon. Yeah, cause whatever the problem was got cleared right up. Uh, I see. Excellent. So, we'll let you know the meeting place for tomorrow. You just wait for us and when we get there we'll start the mission. Understood. Though I lack your experience, I swear not to fail you. Oh, I'm sure you won't. See you tomorrow! the rendezvous point but I only see enemies out here what happened to Olba and Willy who's there yeah I've been seen let us fight then Alexandra von Son on the scene I defeated them. But it seems even more of them are headed this way. So these are the front lines. Two sides staking their lives on their ideals. On this brutal stage. The field of battle. What I'd like to do now is return to base to get my bearings. If I fall back at this point, I'll only be leading the Federation into our land. Seems I'm out of options. Letting myself get spotted was my failure. Thus, it's my duty to make up for it. Need to get it together. Come now, come now! Over for you, Blade! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<sighs> These Federation troops are surprisingly weak. I've only just graduated from the military academy. And yet, they're no match for me? I've heard the Stigmata Nets are quite powerful. If that's true, there must not be any of them here. In which case, maybe I can take down a Federation base on my own? What a great way to test myself! I guess you could see it that way, but you're more like an obstacle in my path. Yes. Your misfortune to run into me. Come now, come now. How's that? Come now, come now. How's that? How's that? Too bad. Come now, come now. How's that? Come now, come now! Make use of humility myself! Is the case, Commander? A fitting opponent. I took down that entire base. Come now, come now! How's that? Too bad. Over for you. Too bad. Come now. Come now. How's that? And it didn't take much effort. So I suppose there's no reason not to keep going. I can decrease the Federation's presence here. It'll be a boon to my allies and the Empire. I'll push myself to my utmost limits. Too slow! Guard <laughs> Let's keep this speed up. Is that it? Too slow. Too slow. <laughs> Too bad. Too over for you. I waited at the wrong spot. That would explain why they never showed up. 
Federation found them, like they did me. The only signs of battle around here are the ones I just left. So then, what does this all mean? Olba and Willy, I see? They're being awfully stealthy. Well, until I have more to go on, I'll just crush whatever base stands in my way. Stratagem! Ooh, for me to serve as a diversion. Our base sees the opportunity to infiltrate the enemy stronghold. Well then, if it's a diversion they want, I'll give them a diversion they'll never forget. Fine. I'll take care of this myself. Federation troops I draw toward myself, the more vulnerable their stronghold will become. The Mueller brothers truly are expert strategists. I remember back at the military academy, they were always cooking up one scheme or another. I'm glad their deployment to the front lines gave them a chance to sharpen those skills. whole other level from the drills at the academy. I'll refer to the wisdom of those who've seen real combat. If I'm lucky, they might teach me a thing or two about strategy. The best way I can serve this mission is to follow their plan and challenge the Federation soldiers head on. Mission 2. For the Shilpon Empire! Damn it! You wanna test your luck against me? You wanna test your luck against me? Oh, 
All right, I think I've crushed most of their bases. Uh, too bad. Uh, come now, come now. Have that. Yes, there. Come now, come now. Have that. Yeah. All that remains is their stronghold. Everything's gone according to plan. The Mueller brothers should have secured it by now. But I guess it couldn't hurt to check on them. to say this. I thank you for putting my skills to use in combat. What? My first battle. I'll never forget the excitement of it. Excitement? We tricked you! Don't you understand that? And yet somehow you've come out on top again! I'm sorry. I know you're trying to tell me something, but... I don't get it. Do you think perhaps you could explain it to me a bit more clearly? Over a meal, maybe. What? After taking down all those bases, I've worked up an appetite. <laughs> Alexandra, you're something else. Fine. 
But before that, we need to make a report about how we mess things up and how you save the day. Opa. And after that, you'll have all the food you can eat. Our treat, okay? Sure. Sounds like a fine meal to me. A few more days have passed, and I still haven't received my assignment. Guess it's going to be another day on patrol. I heard the news, Alexandra. You toppled all those Federation bases all by yourself? Not by myself, no. The Mueller brothers were with me. That's so. Wonder why I never heard about it from them. Usually, they'd be bragging up a storm about something like that. Well, anyway, good job out there. Oh, the Mueller brothers. Alexandra, about that battle, I, uh... Yes, it was a very rewarding experience. <laughs> That's so. Well, thought you'd like to know we got off without punishment. Seems somebody offered a word in our defense. I is that right? How nice of whoever that was. You're a horrible actor. Yo, Alexandra. I hear they've still got you benched. Well... If you're free, I could use your help. We've got some street rats who've gone missing. Missing? I did hear those kids have been causing less trouble lately. Only because there's fewer of them around to cause it. Thing is, they do get adopted or go into foster care sometimes. But if that happens, they usually let their buddies know about it. These kids, though, vanished, without a word to their pals. So you've already approached the other children about this? No, they came to me. You see, Willie and I rose up from the streets ourselves. I didn't know that. I'll start investigating these disappearances immediately. Thanks. If we turn up anything else, We'll let you know. This train right here? It's no exaggeration to say it carries the entire Empire. We rely on it for quick dispatches, too. Now that I've made my way out of the station, i better start asking around about those kids. I'll check in with the weapon shop first. The owner of this bakery is the nicest woman. She always remembers my usual order. And when she gives me my change, she gives my hand a squeeze. I suppose you're never too old to fall in love. Hmm. I have yet to fall in love myself. Oh? Love's good for the body. Gives you a healthy glow. Heck, go ahead and fall in love with me if you want. I don't mind. As it happens, my body's in fine health, even if it isn't glowing. So, no thank you. train for the very first time it was scary but when the train went up high the city got so small everything looked like toys
They really have gone missing? I knew it! You did? Like I told you, they've been causing less trouble lately. Despite not facing repercussions from anyone around here. Which leads me to believe someone snatching them up. I bet my life it's human traffickers. If that's true, I won't let it stand. Hope you can do something. Let me know if I can be of help. Thank you. Can you think of anyone else who might know anything? Let's see. The woman at the bakery might. She sometimes gives out leftovers to the kids. I see. I'll go check it out. If I recall, the bakery should be visible from Main Street. Ah, the magnificence of Gardenburg Castle. Surrounded by High Garden, the epitome of order and beauty. Yes, it's a wonderful city. The kids have been disappearing? That explains why my leftovers have been less popular lately. I always leave them by the back door at the end of the day. You don't give the food to the kids directly? Technically, I'm not giving it to them at all. I put it out and they take it. It has to go somewhere, right? Well, that doesn't leave me with a whole lot to go on. I'm sorry I don't have more information for you. But, come to think of it, lately I keep hearing the sound of a flute. Shortly after, I put the leftovers out. A flute, huh? How strange. Anything else? That's all I've got. I do hope you can find those kids, Alexandra. I'll do everything in my power. Well, where can I go now? Guess there's nothing left to do but talk to the kids themselves. A strange flute noise? Can't say I've heard anything like that. But you know, there are reactors starting up constantly. You sure it wasn't one of them you heard? I believe this next rite should take me to where I can find the children. Damn! Stupid street rats! What happened? A couple of them snuck up behind me! Did they attack you? No, they startled me. When I jumped, they all pointed and laughed! Cheeky brats! D that's certainly impolite of them. The larger the city grows, the more restaurants we get. Now I'm hungry and I can't decide where to eat. Why don't you eat at all of them? Ha 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 ha, good one. As if one person could actually eat that much. Over there is where the homeless gather. But you should steer clear. They live by no one's rules but their own. You remember Olba and Willie? Those two street urchins? Oh yeah, they were always causing trouble in my shop. Mueller took him in, trying to get in good with the military. Used his money to clean him up and get him in the academy. Now they call him the Mueller brothers. Apparently they're running all sorts of missions for the army. Brothers? They aren't related by blood, though. I don't expect that's particularly important to them. After all, even most blood-related brothers aren't as close as those two. You know, putting those delinquents to work for the country... I guess it was a good thing in the end. Just goes to show people can change at any time, huh? I think that's... Another soldier. 
Here to protect us, I'm sure. I'm getting out of here. Uh, you there, wait! Yeah, I'll have to run after him. Is he here? Damn it! I ain't getting caught! away again. I wasn't expecting a child to be this elusive. Where did he run off to? There you are. I... I can't believe you found me. Too bad it won't happen again. Uh, hey! I thought I knew my way around the capital, but this boy knows the back roads better than I do. Still, I have no intention of giving up. You still on my trail? Give it up, will ya? I promise. All I want to do is talk, okay? You think I'm gonna fall for that? Listen to me. I'm only... Hey, Fo! This way! Yo, Joyce! Perfect timing! Wait, hold on! And he got away. It's hard for me to imagine any human being abducting children like these. Since that would require catching them first. Well, at any rate... I guess I'm gonna need Olba and Willy's help on this. I heard the brothers were out here on a beast hunt. They work this late into the night? We owe so much to the dedication of those on the front lines. When the day finally comes that I get my assignment, I hope I'm able to serve as diligently as they do. For now, though, if I want to continue my investigation, I'll need to recruit their assistance. Olba told me the two of them grew up on the streets. I wouldn't have guessed that. But it does shed some light on their perception of me, and their treatment of me. We do not choose the circumstances of our birth. But knowing what I know now about theirs, I find myself wondering if I ever made them feel smaller by speaking or acting thoughtlessly. I keep thinking of that child I encountered in the alley. He was such a fast runner with an indomitable spirit. If we could get him into the military academy, I could see him rising to the top of the Imperial forces someday. We could use more soldiers like him and the Mueller brothers. It would be a great credit to our army. I'll mention it to the higher-ups. Hmm? Over there, is that...? Allow me to assist! Alexandra? The Ivory Immortal is here. She'll turn the tide for us! Such a weird nickname. What if it starts catching on? No, never mind that. Concentrate on taking down these beasts. That's the spirit! What? <laughs> Over for you! Come now, come now! really saved our necks. But what are you doing here? I was just at the baker's looking into the missing kids. She's been hearing a flute noise lately that could be connected. So I tried asking one of the kids about it, but... Gave you the slip, huh? Yes. That's why I came to you two for help. <laughs> I'm sorry we didn't warn you. 
But did you really think a street kid was gonna open up to you? Some la-di-da noblewoman with a stick up her butt? You're practically dripping with privilege. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Sorry, just giving you a hard time. So, about that flute... You've heard of it before? Yeah, there are rumors going around about a phantom. They say it plays a flute. Makes people's heads go fuzzy. A phantom? Well, I don't know about that part. You know how rumors are. But if someone had a way of controlling these kids... Then that someone would be able to capture them easily. But where are they being held, I wonder? We may be able to shed some light on that as well. Not long ago, a young girl dressed in noble attire was spotted outside the city, wandering these barrens. A young girl out here? No reason as yet to believe she's connected to the children. But we were thinking about looking into it. Do you know where she went after she was spotted? Yes, as a matter of fact. The Bahard Labyrinth. The perfect spot to hide a group of kids. Okay, from what I understand, the cave should be just past this point. Olba and Willie said that when they were done reporting in, they'd meet up with me here. But if the children are in danger, I can't sit by and wait. I'll go ahead and start looking around. Back over what we know so far, there are no adult victims that we're aware of. Could that mean that this strange flute is only effective on children? Maybe it's a reactor of some kind, but if so, who could have developed it? Me. There. Now I'm ready. 
ready for battle once more. Then again, I'm little more than a foot soldier. What do I know about the finer points of reactor development? I could be totally off the mark on that part. But I do know this. The only thing scarier than a sound with the power to control children is a person who'd actually seek to wield such a power. I'm starting to get really worried about those kids. I need to hurry. can continue. It's a little tight, but I think I can make it through. Right, I have somewhere to be. Whew, I made it. I don't see the cave yet. Better keep moving. The noble girl that Olba mentioned. But no sign of her yet. He said there's no reason to believe she's related to this case. But I find it hard to believe there's no connection. I wonder, could she be confined somewhere within that cave?
That's the Bahard Labyrinth. It's an odd-looking cave. Like the mouth of a beast frozen in mid-roar. Though I guess I should say primordial beast, given the size. I wonder if the children are actually in there. I hope they're safe. Based on everything I've heard up to now, this definitely sounds like a case of human trafficking. I thought I knew the capital so well. It seemed like such a perfect place to live. Each of its citizens adding their wisdom to grow its brilliance. But a brilliant light will always cast a dark shadow. Shadow isn't the right way to think of it. After all, I've only been looking for the good. The lights of the city. To me, they are a sight without compare. But those very same lights shine down on those who are suffering. As a soldier... No, as a citizen of the Empire, I must give equal consideration to everyone within its borders. I've come pretty far down. I didn't realize the mist got so heavy down here. The way it hangs around the mouth of the cave. It really looks like the beast is breathing. What's inside? I'll need to keep my wits about me. Who's there? You want to know who I am? 
<laughs> I have no desire to become acquainted with you. All I want is for you to die, so I can get back to business. Business? Please, let's get this over with while my product is still alive. After all, children become spoiled so easily. You bastard. <laughs> Anyone else that could hmm. I suppose I am privileged. Not that. Privileged to be the one who gets to bring you down. Pretty confident, aren't you? Blessed with talent, physical strength, technology, too. All you've ever known is opportunity. I hate people like you with all my heart. That's fine. Hate me all you want, but just surrender. This is over. Oh, is it? But aren't you forgetting something? Earlier. When you came down here, just what was it you were looking for? How dumb do you have to be to forget about the people you came here to save? You monster! <laughs> you call it monstrous to protect your assets! Your personal sense of justice is clouding your perspective! Alexandra! Are you alright? <laughs> you had backup? <laughs> Not you two. What are you... Wait, hold on. Ludwig? Damn. Better go. I'll hold on to that noble girl, at least. Oh. Hey! Leave him be. Just make sure the children are alright. Yeah, you got it. We'll take the kids to a nearby village where they'll be safe. I'm counting on you. Before I go after that guy, I've got to ask you, do you know him? Yeah, we do, though it pains me to admit it. 
Ludwig grew up on the streets right alongside me and Willie. It used to be the three of us. We were together all the time. But since Ludwig was so scrawny, the man who adopted us had no need of him, so he got left behind. We went back later and tried to find him, but it was no use. Looks like he went down a pretty dark path in the name of survival. I see. Alexandra, I know this is asking a lot, but could you please put a stop to him? For us? Leave it to me. Better get going. Go. I guess I'll have to explore this whole cave. I'll try this path first. I hope I find him quickly. This cave is so much bigger than it looks from the outside. If I were an evildoer looking for a hideout, I couldn't do any better than this. remembered a picture book I had as a child. This cave seems like the very same one that book was set in. But I don't have time to think about that right now. I have to find that man, and fast. Another fork in the road. Which way should I go? Is this the right path? I'm beginning to feel unsure.
This place is confusing. It looks like I'm making progress, though. It's over for you! Those poor children, getting dragged to a place like this. They must be so frightened. No, frightened doesn't begin to cover it. They'll be traumatized. I'll make sure that man pays for what he's done here. Another fork. Huh. Starting to see why this place is called the Bahard Labyrinth. Hmm. The wind changes from tunnel to tunnel. I can feel it blowing through here, but not through here. I wonder if this wind is the key to solving this maze. Judging by the cave's exterior, I think I've made decent progress, but external appearances can be deceiving, so it's pointless to speculate. Culprit or the girl, I hope I find at least one of them up ahead. is a labyrinth. If I allow myself to lose my bearings in here, I might never find my way back out. again. All these decisions are costing me precious time. Why couldn't it have been? If my opponent knows these caves well, then I'm at a major disadvantage. I'd best be careful, in case he's lying in wait for me. Yeah. After what happened at the entrance, I think it's safe to say most of the children are secured. But he said something about a noble girl. And I've got to assume she's the child Olba told me about. If she really is down here, I've got to get to her first, or he'll take her hostage again. You can't! I let my guard down! Here I go! My blade! Use it all! <sighs> this feels like bliss.
to this. I've stopped keeping track of all the twists and turns, but I'll keep going as long as it takes. Hup! Hmm. The wind feels stronger down this tunnel. Could it be connected to the... There! I found him at last! Yeah. Stop right there! Found me! What right do you have to interfere with my happiness? You want to talk about right? What do you have to play on those children? Don't you move an inch. Hey, you there. Come over here for a second. Don't do it. Stay away from him. Wait, who are you? Ah, plan B. Listen to this, kiddo. <laughs> He's got that flute. Yes, yes, good girl. Come over here. Why would I do that? Huh? Now, if you don't mind, ma'am, could you please escort me out of here? Uh, sure. Why isn't my flute working on her? Uh-oh. He seems mad. Have I done something wrong? Don't you worry. You just go back to sleep. Think of this as a dream, okay? What an unusual dream. Oh, well, if that's what you think is best. <sighs> now then, time for me to finish up this job. Damn it all! I was only thinking of the kids when I... Tell the truth. You were only thinking of yourself. Profit selling children? You're the lowest, most despicable kind of criminal. Just shut your mouth! I won't know it all! Stop! Stop getting in the way of my happiness! You had to grow up that way. But it's not too late. You still have the time and the skills to choose another path. Shut up! I never had a choice. Not then and not now! Stop acting like you understand anything but your own privilege! You stubborn fool! Alexandra didn't finish you off, did she? Opa... Willie... There have been many times... when I found myself... feeling jealous of people like you. So please... 
Don't say you don't have anything. It's not true. You... may be right. You know, someday, in the future, you may meet a man who despises the Empire. For reasons a whole lot more worthy and righteous than mine. If you meet someone like that, what do you suppose you'll do then? I don't even have to think about it. Should I ever meet someone so hopelessly mired in darkness, then I'll make it my business to drag them back into the light. The light of the Empire. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I look forward to watching you fight on. That's assuming my cell has windows. Well, in that case, I'll make it worth watching. Thank you for everything, Alexandra. Didn't expect that from you. Well, let's get her back. She could wake up at any time. Aye, aye. Need a hand, Ludwig? Someone whose reasons are worthy and righteous. Huh. That really was... quite a story. Whatever happened to the Mueller brothers? Where did they end up? We lost them both in battle. In this very war. I'm sorry. Are the two of you free at the moment? I could use your assistance. Uh, sir! At your disposal. I'm always ready to serve. Is that so? Well then, let us go forth. For the Gilblon Empire. Yes. Let's go, August. Always for the Gilblon Empire. Next time on Tales of Luminaria, Episode Alexandra. Coming into Bud, this encounter might just make me lose my way. <laughs> <laughs>